So today we're going to talk about Pythagoreans' identities. Um, we all know that this side attached to the angle we're talking about is adjacent. The one across from it is opposite. And the side across from the right angle is the hypotenuse. We also know by Pythagorean's theorem that this side squared, adjacent squared, plus this other side squared, in this case opposite squared, equals the hypotenuse squared. So what would happen if we decide to dot, divide everything by, and that pen doesn't work, everything by hypotenuse squared. Okay, so what do we have? We have adjacent over hypotenuse, which we know that is cosine. Then we have opposite over hypotenuse squared. We know that is sine. And we have hypotenuse over hypotenuse, each being squared. And we know that's equal to 1. This is Pythagorean's identity. It's an identity you're going to use a lot in this class, so you should get used to it. Sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. Now, there are um, different forms of this theory of identity that we'll be using. Um, let's see, we have, what if you wanted to get sine squared by itself? You could subtract cosine squared to the other side, or if you wanted to get cosine squared by itself, you sub subtract sine squared to the other side. So these are two other forms of this identity that you should probably know. Okay, so then there are a couple other identities that are variations of this, I this identity, and we know sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. Um, but what if I took this identity and I divided everything by sine squared. What does this simplify to? We have sine squared over sine squared is 1 plus what's cosine over sine? Cotangent. And what is 1 over sine squared? The reciprocal of sine is cosecant. So there's another identity you should know, and that's based on sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. I don't have this one memorized. I always have to derive it by dividing everything by sine squared. Okay. What if we divided everything by cosine squared? What's sine squared divided by cosine squared? Tangent. Cosine over cosine, 1. What's the reciprocal of cosine? Secant. So here we have another identity based on sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. Again, I don't have this one memorized. I always derive it. So to recap, we know sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. Then you should be comfortable with the variations of this identity, that sine squared is equal to 1 minus cosine. You would just subtract the cosine to the other side. Or cosine squared equals 1 minus sine squared, subtract the sine squared. And then these two other identities that I was able to derive from sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1.